What's up everybody, it's Lee from SkullJ coming to you live from North Pine Dam. Out here today, we're going to see if we can find ourselves a Whopper Stopper or two, and by that I mean 50 plus bass. So, uh, if there's going to be a chance to catch a 50 plus bass, it's going to be in North Pine. There is quite a few in here, we've caught them before. Let's go out and see if we can find ourselves an awesome fish. Get a load of this. These weather conditions are absolutely mint. A little bit warm, bit of storm build up. Ooh, anticipation in the air. Let's go see what we can do. Well, there you go, ladies and gents. There is a start. Only 45 centimeters, but an absolute treasure. This guy's going to grow up, and he's going to be a 50 before too long, probably in the next one or two seasons, the way they're growing out here at North Pine. And I reckon he's going to be an absolute treat for another angler on the way. So we're going to let him go. We'll get these hooks out and uh, send him on his way and have a look and see if we can find his bigger brother. So we know this is a good spot. We know. They've hung out here before we're on the trail. But I reckon it's too long before we're gonna get one. So one of the things we've been looking at is the Saluna charts, so which are basically fish bite times. Now you wouldn't think that makes a huge difference to fresh water, but uh, certainly does in terms of the moon and uh, its effect on the fish. So essentially at the turn of the tides, coming up to a low tide or a high tide, depending upon whether it's moon above or moon below, these are terms that you'll come to be familiar with once you start to learn about the Saluna table but what it does is it predicts bite times where the fish are going to be more active now we've picked this afternoon because it just coincides by about four o'clock to about 6 30 is when the bite time or the major bite time for the day happens it just happens to be getting close to dark and we know this spot goes well after dark and around about that time as as the light fades so hopefully we're in for a bit of a red hot session bring on those 50s so we've just managed to find a spot of these guys. They're sitting on the ledge between 11 and 7 meters. And uh, it's very interesting to watch. And we're going to monitor their behavior through the day as it gets later in the afternoon and see if they come from that deeper 11 meter mark up into the 7. Which is what I'm predicting they're going to do. But it's just really interesting to watch these guys and to actually see the behavior of the bass. So, um, yeah, that was a 45. So it's not that big a stretch to get to 50 from here. Let's see how we go. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. As long as this is not a catfish, oh, we'll be really happy. Oh, man, certainly got some go to him. Ran like an absolute racehorse on takeoff. Real nice, strong fish, whatever it is. Not done yet, gonna get him up next to the boat here. And I reckon it's going to go absolutely berserk. It's a bass. And it's not a bad one. But it's only about a 40 and you can see. He absolutely took off with that. What a champion, man. He ran. They're uh, a good size and that's probably going about that 37 mark. Probably not quite a 40. But absolutely beautiful fish in great condition which is awesome because they're the future stocks that are going to be growing and uh, getting bigger for us to catch as they get larger quite a few down there and there's a double hookup oh. got one on each rod the one seems to be dragging this one seems to be fighting a bit more so we'll just take this one oh. you can see all i'm doing with that other rod is just dragging him along keeping a little bit of forward motion while you deal with the one in your hand. Unfortunately, oh, neither seem to be that big. Give me a second set of hooks to jag this guy sideways. There we go, came popped off. <laughs> got off right there. And sometimes that'll happen when you've got two sets of hooks on. Let's try this other one. And we've still got this guy. Let's 
Uh, he's up on the top of his own little one. I'd love to be pleasantly surprised in the big 50 rears ahead. But it's not, it's only a little tacker. Yep, that's not a bad fish. Come across the top of the point there. Coming up in about five meters of water. And uh, I might grab this, he's got a bit of go to him. He's pulled a bit of string there a couple of times. Starting to get to the business end now. Big head shakes, man. Oh, that is an awesome fish. I think. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be our 50. Hop in there, baby. Come for a ride. Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby. That's a 50 all day. You little ripper. <laughs> yeah, that's what we came here for. Have a load of this thing. Sharp point all day, baby. Oh. Yeah, hooked in the bone and the mouth. Right with those good set of hooks in there. Have a go at that. Gotta be happy with that. That's what we come here for, folks. North Pine Dam, it's going off. Let's whack this little girl on the mat. It's gotta be close to 50. Yeehaw, let's have a look. Look at that. That is an awesome fish, bang on 500. <laughs> you gotta be happy with that, yeah. And there you go, that's a 50 North Pine Bass. Have a look how chunky this guy is. Absolute pleasure to catch you, mate. Righto, we might send you on your way and see if we can get you, mates. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Man, I love watching those big girls swim free. That is just an awesome fish. So look, if you've never caught one that big, do yourself a favor. Get out to North Pine and give it a go. It's relatively simple. Yes, you do need to put some time in on the water to work out where the big girls are hanging out. For instance, I've spent, must be the best part of the last three weeks coming out here twice a week chasing these big girls. Nailed heaps and heaps of 35s, 40s, 44s, 45s, 47, 48s. Didn't quite get to the 50s until now, but that's awesome. I think the assassin's on over there. Let's go see how he goes. Wow. Whipping that rod over, mate. Must be a big catfish. Ah, okay. To wonder to yourself, how good is that? What more could you want? An afternoon out on the dam, catching a few fish and watching that. It's one of my favorite places. Well, ladies and gents, we hope you've had a great time out here on North Pine, the same as we did. Banging that big girl, we got that 50. That's what it's all about. Glorious. Sun setting in the background, fishing rod. Look at that, fish on. <laughs> uh, that's all you want. But thanks very much for joining us, everybody. Oh yeah, I like a bit of screaming reel. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. Learned something about catching big bass out here on North Pine. But thanks very much for joining us. If you like this and you want to see more, how about you hit that like and that subscribe button, and we'll make sure you get to see it first. But thanks very much, guys. Until next time, tight lines, and we'll see you guys out on the water. <laughs> oh, we're getting serious now. Yeah.